Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Alex. Welcome back to more Dino Crisis 2. Okay, so can't carry more of those. How is our health and items doing? Pretty good. Wait, what about ammo? Okay, we need to fuel up and see what we can get at the shop here. If you need weapon wise, uh, we could get the rocket launcher, but I don't really think there's a need to. Uh, it looks like good on all of our healing stuff. Yeah, we're good on our healing stuff, so let's just get ammo. Uh, maybe we should get another cartridge upgrade for this. Why not? Uh, let's do another... 20. Yeah, another 20. Any tools? Yeah, let's go ahead and get this, because this will double the points we get. Yeah, it's costly, but... I was going to save just so we don't have to buy all that over again if we end up dying. Yeah, get double the points. That would be really helpful. Okay. Nora's Ar uh, Noah's Ark plan. Jeez, I can't read. Year 2009. It all began in Balzinia, a small public in the Southern Sea. The first overdrive was the beginning of everything. During transportation, something went wrong, and there's only a crack in space-time which skewed history after the Cretaceous era. era. To investigate the skewed biological history after the Cretaceous, extensive experiment was conducted in a global scale. The result, devastating. The space-time skew would take its effects on all living organisms. The Earth's history would change dramatically, and a change would wipe the human race from ever existing. That was the conclusion of the experiment. The plan was to transport the living organisms of the Cretaceous through time gate to a world with similar environments, far into the future. After the crisis had passed, the organisms would then be returned to original time. We call this the Noah's Ark plan. This is the only plan that would leave any chance for the existence of the human race. We hope that this plan is successful and we shall declare execution of this plan. WAPP Central Council. Well, I don't know if the plan went well. I'll have to see about that. Okay, facility entrance. Wait, am I going backwards? Okay, yeah, it looks like I am going backwards. My bad. I mean, you go for here. Man, so many healing stuff, but we're full on our healing. Okay, large laboratory hall. Okay, I don't hear sound of any dinosaur, so I think we're on the clear for now, but it's all the tubes. Lieutenant Morton. A hologram? Well, how does he know my name? There's not much time left. So, so tell me that's like us on short, another time. Simple. On August 10th, 2055, our Noah's Ark plan became successful. Year 2055? What's he talking about? I think that's our character like to many years the in the future. Dinosaurs. We transferred the dinosaurs to this time, three million years ahead of our time. What? Three million years? Then you're from... But there was another accident when we were about to go back. The gate disappeared and we were stranded in this time. Then this is the future. There was no way for us to survive in this world. Huh. The dinosaurs now rule. We, the remaining survivors, hurried to recover the gate. But it's too late now. My wife, Julia, was killed by the dinosaurs. And my loving child, she was hurt. Badly. Paula. 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 Okay, so you must be the daughter. Paula. You must be Paula. Paula? Is that your name? Apparently so. Pa Papa. 
My only mission now is to protect my group. I have kept Paula and the other children safe by putting them inside life support chambers. Please, take the children back to your time. And now, I should introduce myself. I am former Special Forces Trat member, Colonel Dylan Morton. I called it. Okay, so he is Dylan what? many years in the future. You're myself in the future? Yeah. Like 50 years in the future. Man, time travel is confusing. Papa. We don't have much time left. She's your daughter. Hey, Congratulations. <laughs> you can use it to return to your time. The gate is not complete yet. You'll be able to use it only once. Please, say hello to Regina for me. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. So what's it like making meeting your future self and future daughter? Okay, yeah, time stuff is always confusing. Okay, so we're we're not in the past, we're in the future by 300 million years, but these people brought here from 50 years of their own present time and are trying to get it back to our present time. What? You turned it on. Dang, you deflected with a machete. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Is that... Is that the Gigantosaurus? Yep, it is. I think it is. Yeah, I think that is supposed to be the Gigantosaurus. Great. So, am I supposed to fight him, or...? Get up, Dylan! And now I'm kind of thinking I should have bought that uh, rocket launcher. Okay, I should have kept running. My bad. We got rescue packs we can spare. Mostly because we've collected, like, so many of them now. Yeah, let's go and do that. Ow. Come on. I will take you down. I got bullets I can spare. I got bullets and health packs we can use. Come on. Go down. Come on. Okay. Starting to lose health now. Oh, well, here's this. What? No. We'll just do a game over and go back to previous save.
Okay, maybe I should buy... Oh, wait. I don't think I have enough anymore. Yep, I don't have enough anymore. Great. Well, hmm. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I should, should do the running thing first. know how I made it out, but I Dylan, get up, you lazy man! Damage confirmed at oversized transport area. Immediate shutdown. Let me guess, I need to kill him no matter what, then. Or maybe there's something around here I can use as a weapon. Let's see. If I can Dylan, get up. It was a scream. Yep, okay, so we need to actually take you out. We need to kill you. Yeah, he looks like he's all burnt and hurt, so I think this is the Gigantosaurus after being, well, burnt multiple times by Regina. Let me move! Okay, there's something over here. What is this? Satellite? Are you, hold on, are you, are you telling me I can do like some sort of orbital strike? Because, um, I'm gonna tell you now. Will you stop it with your five hit combo here? Let me move! There we go. Oh, there were 1200 hit combo of yours. Okay, so is this anti satellite? Operate control panel to open communication line to satellite. Say less. Because I'm guessing that's what this thing is. So you control terminal. Yes, operate. Communication line is now connected. Come on, how are these not stunning you? Get stunned already! I'm in danger. All those shots and he's not even getting stunned. Just make a run for it. Dylan, get up! It was a scream! It was a roar! Okay, so I guess we need to get to other thing first. Stop with your combo. Yeah, okay, when he attacks, I just need to run from it. Trying to counter does not seem to work at all as a viable scenario here. Let me move! If he'll let me move, that'd be nice. As I'm back to almost no HP again. Hmm. Let me move! Target is set. Okay, now we just need to... Ow! Dylan, get up! Oh, for God's sakes. Stop with your combo. It's the most annoying attack. Dylan, get up! I'm running out of heals because of this. His five-hit combo. 
Yes, you with the satellite. I got less than two minutes now. Fire away. Beam him down, Scotty. <laughs> okay, are we going to get orbital strike or just like a laser? That's always, that's always what you see when it comes to satellite stuff. Are we going to get a laser or orbital strike? Let's see. It looks like a laser. It looks like a laser. Or it's an orbital cannon. Let's see. Laser. Laser. It looks like a laser. We going Death Star mode here? Laser. I'm going to fire my laser. Oh, yeah. Well, that's one way to get rid of a dinosaur. Giant freaking satellite laser. Oh, brother, you just drilled the entire hole all the way down to the center of the earth, basically. <laughs> it's literally, oh, is that how the dinosaur from Journey to the Center of Earth got there? <laughs> well, we got less than two minutes, so we need to book it. At least the dinosaur is gone. Did I, did I even get any points for doing that? Because we're going to use a lot of points. We got 4,000. Wow. Okay, that was not worth it then. To try and waste ammo for that. It's okay. Huh? Regina. Are you alright? Yeah, we don't have much time left. Let's use this gate and get out of here. Whoa. What's happening? Guessing not good. Paula. Oh, she's injured? Okay, I'm guessing we're going to leave Paula behind. No. No. And Dylan, if you don't go back to your normal time, then none of this will ever happen. So you both need to go for that time gate. Looks well, like the Stargate. <laughs> Regina, the gate is open. I know you don't want to, but you have to go back by yourself. What? Wait, hold on. That makes no sense. Time, timeline-wise. Just go, please. Wait, what? No, that doesn't make sense. When you get back to our original time, use the data to learn about third energy. Then build a perfect gate and come pick us up for the last time. I... Dylan... I will. I promise. Or I guess we might see him in the sequel, because there is a Dino Crisis free, but I'm probably going to go before I play that one. That one's a bit tough, because that one came out for a ritual Xbox, and that's not a console I have. Did she come back and rescue them in time, or...? Or are you going to give me credits? With a loud guitar! Ooh, nice. Okay, um... That ending is confusing to me, because, uh... Why did Dylan stay, though? I, I, I get it. He's trying to save his daughter, but here's the thing. If he does not go back to his present time, then he then he doesn't, uh, 50 years in the future, go on to do the Noah Ark plan that creates the whole event on the second Dino Crisis game. So how does that really work timeline-wise? I'm, I'm a bit confused on that. How does that work time travel-wise? Unless Regina actually did somehow make the furniture and then came back and got them like seconds before the place blew up. 
but we didn't get to see that, so I don't know if that actually ended up happening or what. I, I, I'm a bit confused on that part. Because the only way Paula can exist is if Dylan lives over 50 years into 2050 to make Noah's Ark's plan and have a kid with whatever uh, he said his wife's name was. So if that doesn't happen because original Dylan dies in the past when he travels into the future, but how does that even work time-wise? Okay, this is hurting my own brain. <laughs> this is the thing about time travel. <laughs> time travel breaks my brain. It breaks my brain. <laughs> uh, well, that's enough about that. Let me talk about the game itself. God, that was fun. No other way to put it. That was just pure fun. I do love that they decided to change up the style, because the first Dino Crisis game was very heavily uh, centered around the same kind of style that Resident Evil had. Very much so. So the fact they went with a completely different kind of style with this one, it was such a different departure. I was surprised by it, but man, it was so much fun. From the point system, the shop system, to the many mini games, I love how much they expended with the dinosaurs compared to the first game, which only had like six. This time we had a lot more. It was a lot more open, a lot more explorative, and a lot more fun in that regard. This was a very good sequel. Very good successor. This was fun. I do kind of wish we could have played more as Regina. I feel like she kind of got sidelined a bit. And focused a bit much on Dylan. I understand that they want to do that, but when you have two separate characters, you kind of need to give them both at least a good amount of time with each one. I feel like we got a good amount of time with Dylan, but I don't feel like we got nearly enough time with Regina. Especially since, you, especially since she was the survivor of the first Dino Crisis. I don't know if she's in the third one, because like I said, the third one, it's probably going to be a while before I can play Val. That one's a harder one to get. Um, hi, Dylan. Clear time. Just under four hours. That's not bad. Vital credit. Dino Falls 5 out of 11. Well, I tried to find why I could, but they're hard to see sometimes. Rank A. That's a pretty good ranking. I'll take it. Most words. Oh, that's the Dino Call. So I did hear about this. Like bonus little Call Steam game and player enemy. What is this? We add tank to the. Excuse me, I can add tank. You know what? I'm gonna add everything. Rick, Gale. Dinosaurs? More extinction points. The T-Rex, Allosaur, Velociraptor, Oviraptor. And these ones are for Inoshansivia. <laughs> yeah, let's say that. Okay, and with that, that is it for Dino Crisis 2. God, that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I, I'll say again, I love these classic games. These classic games. I will admit, it kind of no. It's it's definitely not a horror game anymore. <laughs> the first one had at least a few elements of kind of a thriller. This one, no. This was just straight action, straight fun, very much. But it was still a lot of fun, and it comes from a series that kind of started out semi horror. But we do still have other classic horror games we plan to do as well. After this, I'm planning to do a sequel to The Suffering. The Suffering Ties That Bind. I might do the sequel to Obscure next, after that. Uh, a few of the older ones I'm having to wait on because my uh, console that I use to play stuff like Parasite Eve and such, that one I'm having issues with, more specifically my capture card for it. I need a whole different cord for it since it's an older console and this is a newer capture card for newer consoles. Once, once we get that one figured out, I'll go back to some of the other older, like, PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2 horrors, such as Parasite Eve 2, uh, Parasite Eve 3, which is weirdly called The Third Birthday. Uh, what else? The Fatal Frame series, I do plan to do that one. Uh, Siren series. And also the original classic, Alone in the Dark series. I know they had a reboot not long ago, but I want to play the original first before I play the reboot, of course. And of course, I have plans on other ones as well. And if you guys have any other classic horror games you want to see me play, do let me know. I'll try my best. Them. I'll try my best. Some of them are just too hard to try and find and get. I remember one person recommended, uh, what was it called? Like, Kuon? It was like K-U-O-N. It was a horror game 
from PlayStation 2 made by From Software, oddly enough, to create the Dark Souls, but it's considered like one of the rarest games. The only copies I could find were hundreds of thousands of dollars on like eBay. Yeah, I don't got that kind of cash, so that's a definite no. <laughs> uh, but for now, this is where I'm going to be ending Dark Crisis here. So up next is the sequel to The Suffering. Suffering ties that bind. This is going to be actually another kind of horror action-y kind of game. With cool mod designs too. But for now, hope you guys had a lot of fun because I definitely did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.